think, for him. Would it have just been a better idea maybe as a she comes in as a special guest referee or something like that where she's not going to totally get hurt? But I know she doesn't have to be pinned here, but uh, I, I, I do feel it's very odd the way they book her at the minute um, because they obviously they don't want her on top. They want to wait for that climax further down the line, fair enough. But uh, you know you know, out and out after that WrestleMania performance this year against Oscar, which almost seems like the back of everyone's minds at the moment, um, that, you know, she's pound for pound the the one to beat. But um, here we are in a situation. I mean, who do you think, I did, who who comes out of this realistically, Matt, do you think? Is it is it going to be Carmella by hook and crook? Uh, no, no, I think, uh, I, think I would go with uh, Becky because right. uh, it makes more sense to me. Mm. Um, it feels like there's there's a little bit of time for this. That's you know we're halfway through the the wrestling calendar year, mm-hmm. so there's a long time to build up towards WrestleMania. Now I think Becky should have a good run with that title, and you know maybe before like because we all assume that Charlotte will get the title back around WrestleMania time, so it would be a good sort of pinnacle to actually build towards that, and then then um, when they have their epic conclusion between Becky and Charlotte, because they're bound to have some good matches. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, for some reason, I, I'm going with Carmella. Don't ask me why, but that's <laughs> what so I put down on my notes here. Um, next match, how about this? And the the <laughs> Dolph Ziggler, um, you know, Intercontinental Champ here, up against Seth Rollins. Uh, I've got to say, this is one of those things now where it's they are good, but for some reason, like. Uh, what I haven't enjoyed is the feud between all this because unfortunately Drew Drew's been involved in this and and I think he's outstanding but you know he 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 him and Seth Rollins and stuff like this like those matches and the way they win and who doesn't win like the whole thing is a real cluster to me um, why WWE are doing that because um, so much talent in and around all this. Um, obviously, they're going for another match. It was a disaster. Um, <laughs> obviously, you know they tried to give the fans exactly what they want in the Iron Man match last month at Money in the Bank. Obviously, you know that was a a nightmare for both guys because of the time thing and all the rest of it. Um, people still talking about that now. Um, I'm guessing they hope that the New York fans Matt, may have forgot that and they're not going to do anything to uh to take over this one but um you know is this um this this match matt i mean do you get to the point now where it's it's a bit like you know i always say the rvd effect that we we see everything um that how can they sort of outdo themselves anymore like this this seems like one of those occasions matt where you know i don't want to be against Seth Rollins but all of his kind of momentum for me anyway from what he had at the beginning of you know just after Wrestlemania um, he got some crazy momentum I feel like that has just been totally flushed away down the toilet uh, because they kept him in this position far too long now and feuding with a guy who no disrespect to Dolph Ziggler here but you know this guy he his career has been like a, a heartbeat. I mean, it's 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 up and down all the time, very erratic, and um, yeah, it's just unfortunate that, that Seth's got stuck into this a little bit. I'm not saying their matches are terrible, but I do feel like for Seth Rollins, this this kind of mo- wave of momentum, people were almost almost being a bit like the whole Daniel Bryan effect that this guy deserves to be at the top. You know, we're going to push this guy. I feel like that's almost going there, Matt. What about you? just like a bad dream sometimes it's like uh, you know when i think back about when the universal title Mm. just came into like being created and you know we had seth versus finn and there was a real sort of feeling that this was a new generation and you know that something had changed and that you know wrestling was going to be about these kind of people and uh, about real wrestling and talent Uh, and now you know we're we're SummerSlam again now and we're looking at the way things are gone and now we're getting Seth in this dead end match and we're getting Finn in a dead end match and you know like all that's been forgotten and you know it's all about Brock Lesnar the part time guy and oh it's like we've gone back like five steps you know not just one like we've gone right back uh, so yeah um, I 
yeah, like you said, his momentum is kind of died, and it just leaves me wondering, like, how they got to this point as well, because usually, like, when they do these feuds, they have a set formula, you know, champion loses mat- the title, champion gets his rematch, and then that's decided. But, you know, they had that, uh, they had the Iron Man match, and for some reason, that hasn't been the end of it. You know, mm. we're going to get another match now, uh, and that always leaves a bad feeling like to me because it just feels like they couldn't think of anything better to do so mm. they're reliving something that's already supposed to have been decided uh, so it just kind of feels to me like this is an obvious win for Ziggler bloody awful because as well as that you think about it Matt what what programme ever sets up with an Iron Man match and then goes to a normal singles match a, 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 a bigger show like SummerSlam you know, it's really arse backwards in this sense for me. Uh, and this is why I got a feeling, and it's nothing on these two guys, because these guys don't deserve it, but I got a feeling, depending on where this is placed in the card, I think fans may turn on this a bit and may have a bit of fun on uh, on <laughs> on their parts, you know what I mean? So I, I've got a really bad feeling about that one, that, you know, things are not going to play very well because if they if if they kind of went and said well you know we've got to do this again because that last time you know we main evented but that wasn't what we wanted so we can prove you right again I, I just got a feeling hopefully uh, that wasn't their suggestion because um, and it's a WWE thing because that could really have a, a backwards effect it would have been better Matt I think if you think about it you look where Finn Balor's doing at the moment with Baron Corbin you know wouldn't it have been better to have muddled them about a bit and have Finn Balor or Baron Corbin doing something else with one of those guys and you know, vice versa, maybe like a Finn and Dolph Ziggler for, for SummerSlam um, would have probably been my ideal suggestion. And, you know, to be honest with you, I know it sounds ridiculous, but Seth Rollins, sometimes doing nothing is actually better than doing this. <laughs> so... So, I mean, even if he was involved in something like running out or something is better than this because uh, i just got a bad feeling about this one. And, you know, on paper, you shouldn't because these two are both tremendous competitors. But uh, on a card like this, I've got a bad feeling for it. Let's put it that way. Um, I'm going to go Dolph Ziggler here, Matt. Uh, what about you? Yeah, uh, like I said, for previous reasons, it yeah. feels like the, the feud's already resolved. It's just... You know, for lack of uh, any better ideas, you know, creative, it just said, you know, do it again. Yep. Uh, now, the Bludgeon Brothers, uh, Harper and Rowan, uh, up against the New Day. And, um, uh, again, this is uh, this has been going on for a while now. Um, the Bludgeon Brothers, Matt, I mean, since WrestleMania, you know, have they... Is this finally, you know, for, for Harper and Rowan, just talking about these two guys individually here, I mean... They've had a hard time, Matt, getting anywhere, and it always seems like they're they're like atoms. They always come back together, um, no matter what. And that just seems like that's that's their glass ceiling now. But they're trying to make something work here. They're obviously you can tell when guys are into what they're doing and when they're not in to what they're doing but these guys they look like they want it to work Matt but is it too little too late for these guys or is there something there Matt and um, this this potentially could be you know I, I just think I feel for these guys a little way not only that Matt it's the fact that the division is so light I mean these matches of the New Day and every other tag team it seems like we've had these a hundred times already doesn't it yeah it does uh, it is like a small division that's yeah, we've said this many times as well. Like, I'm pretty sure that you know the best kind of tag team times was like, well, of course, if you're not kind of ca- during the brand, uh, brand split era, was when mm. there was only one tag team title because you could move from show to show yeah. and you could always have a fresh opponent because, like, well, one division was built and you could be on the other show. Yeah. Uh, but this is now a problem when you've got two sort of tag team titles. It waters everything down and there's no competition. Uh, so yeah it is. and like you said these guys you know they've been thrown together so many times and it hasn't worked out and then this time it seems to be working better but the only reason it's working better this time is because they're doing now what they should have done from the start mm-hmm. making these guys look credible and dominant and not making it look like the rock can beat them in a record amount of time whatever at Wrestlemania because yeah. <laughs> that was all just God. silly yeah. uh, so that's a, that's a memory that Eric Rowan will not forget yeah, um, yeah. but you know, now they do look more dominant and more controlling. I just hope this isn't a waste of time because it will go down and, and probably destroy them 
know if this doesn't work out this time. So hopefully they get the win, you know, the bludgeons mm-hmm. this time around because they need to keep this momentum going until they can use it, at least give that momentum to someone else. Because since sort of WrestleMania, they have been a dominant kind of tag team, you mm-hmm. know, and it is something that, that, you know, that has been missing for a long time now. There hasn't been many tag teams like that for quite some time, so two big guys coming together and destroying all opponents, it sounds pretty good to me. I mean, hopefully they can just keep that going until sort of uh, some younger tag team, maybe some people from NXT or something come up and then they can use that, or even Sanity, you know, that's another good team. I'm sure mm-hmm. they would have some good feuds there going along that way. Yeah, hopefully... The the only thing with the the tag teams, it seems like what they do is is like each, you know, they only ever bring one team in, and then as soon as that team comes in, they automatically go for the belt straight away because they're that that short on teams. I'd rather see it where, you know, we see a few matches to get there uh, to be contenders. But at the minute, if you're a tag team, you've got a real chance of getting a championship match quite quickly, um, <laughs> as it stands. Um, I had a question, you might as well take it while we're here, just about the new day. It's from Steve here in Portsmouth, and he said, um, Hi guys, love your show. Um, just wanted to talk about the new day. Seems like nobody talks about them as fondly as they used to. Would you break these guys up, or would you keep them together? Um, so, question mark. Thank you for your question there. But um, from my point of view, I mean, I I would keep them together only because... What are they going to do individually? I mean, seriously. Um, I know you can take Big E out of that and you can say this guy potentially, you know, he could be a a world champion and all the rest of it. But what realistically, when you see guys like Finn Balor, where they are, and Seth Rollins, I mean, there's no guarantee. So, you know, I, I know it's not amazing stuff what's going on with the New Day, but... If anything, their merch is through the roof. They always seem to be over the fans anyway. Um, and I think it's better that they stick together rather now because they've kind of earned it a little bit here. Uh, I, I would suggest not breaking up like WWE seems to like doing many times. I would actually argue against that because I just don't really know what else is there for them, um, especially for Xavier Woods and Kofi at the minute. But Matt, what about you? Yeah, it's an interesting point that was raised then about the uh, the fans not being as behind them as they maybe once were. Uh, and maybe that's because people get a little bit, you know, too used to the way things mm. are and they take them for granted and, you know, and perhaps they're just like getting a little bit stale for some people. But at the same time, they're doing something that hasn't really been done before. They're actually a, a group and a tag team that yeah. stays together. You know, yeah. I hate that WWE formula where, you know, you can break up and you have to fight each other, you have to fight your partners and whatever. Mm. No one ever just sort of breaks up, like, uh, agreeably and actually accepts that they can go their own ways. No, you always have to end up fighting each other for some reason. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I think they have they have a good sort of setup there. And uh, we've seen it before, like, take uh, Money for bank, uh, money in the Bank, for instance, where they had to agree between them who mm-hmm. was going to be the guy that went and took the opportunity and actually worked that out. So I like that kind of difference in wrestling, that you can actually, you can be uh, a trio and still actually do your, have your individual goals as well because, you know, we'll see them go for singles titles and tag team titles, so it's all good. Yeah, I keep these guys together. And, and you know, Matt's right. I mean, the, it only seems to be in WWE they like breaking things up. Because if you look at, you know, you go back, you know, I know it's harping back, but, you know, the Horsemen, the, the Freebirds, and you know, they didn't just split up just to make a buck here or there against each other. Of course, they didn't. They, they stayed together. And um, I honestly think if the New Day stay together, um, you know, till till the day they retire, they'll go down as much more beloved than having a you know a singles run. Unless there's an absolute guarantee for one of those guys, uh, my advice would be stay together. Quite frankly, uh, much like Matt, I'm going to say the Bludgeon Brothers to win this one. Um, otherwise, I do <laughs> think that's over. But uh, hopefully, uh, we'll see how that goes. Next match now, Matt. AJ Styles, the WWE champion, up against Samoa Joe. And by the way, just before we get into this, Matt, the um, the bookies have got Samoa Joe, odds-on favourite, by quite a stretch at the moment. So, 
Um, you know, we, I know we spoke about it, Matt, but we felt, you know, AJ could have a long run here and why not? You know, he's gone through Shinsuke Nakamura. He seems to have uh, gone past all that, doesn't he? Now he's up against Samoa Joe. 